This episode sponsored by our viewers. Thanks to folks like Ellie, Ivar, and Connor, we've been able to continue producing episodes. Our most dedicated sponsors are those that enjoy the show. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters, I'm your host Derek Schomer, today we're going to create the Hellfire Shooter. Why is it the Hellfire? Because it's got fire, ball, and hell. whiskey, and hell. Devil's cut. Yeah. Same bean. Devil's in hell. Now, the story, I did a little research, doesn't happen often, but apparently they call the, uh, oh it's actually on here, the angel shares the uh, evaporation, they call it the angel shares, the, the, when you're making a bourbon or anything that's really distilled in the oak, it bleeds out the, the oak and it evaporates in the air. Now they have techniques, I've talked to the folks at Canadian Club and there's some techniques you can use to basically pull it out of the air with a um, with a humidifier and be able to re-pour it back in to kind of like recapture some of the loss because it's like 20%. They call that the angel share. The devil's cut apparently comes from the wood. They somehow pull it out of the wood so you get more oakiness. How much of that story is marketing and how much of it is real, I have no clue. I don't really care. All I care about is a good taste. So we're going to see if it's a good taste. And you like oak. I love oak. I don't know why, but I do. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Devil's Cut. It's for us, I don't... There's some people who said it's like 70 bucks. And 70 US dollars converted from crazy money I don't understand from another <laughs> country. And for me, this is $24. That's a lot less than 70 Yes. But we get lucky here sometimes. The roads are paved in gold in the United States. We got like... Yeah, and all we do is bitch about it. Right. So the Devil's Cut is a higher end Jim Beam. Jim Beam around here would probably be more, let's see, we have some Jack Daniels here, right? So a bottle like this would probably be about, what, 10 bucks? This is 24, so do you could kind of figure out it's almost double the cost. That's what you're looking at in a difference from cost, which should translate into quality. I think it does because quality also is translated through reviews. And if people tell you this is crap, you won't buy it. Thus, the price wouldn't be justified. And so goes the way of life. Thanks. No problem. I'm gonna double my ingredients because, I don't know, I'm going to. Oh, we're already on Sunday? You didn't hear the welcome to Sunday Night Shooters? No. <laughs> Julio, by the way, submitted this recipe. Apparently I wasn't paying attention. That's okay. I wasn't either. <laughs> and then Fireball Whiskey. There were too many good drinks this week. I know. It's not a good week. If you watch the show and you can get your hands on Kinky Salerno and uh, more Kinky. I, <laughs> not Kinky Salerno. Kinky, no, kinky and, and Salerno. Salerno. Then, and you've made the drinks, and then you made them in the same way we did, five in a row. By now you're like, yeah, dude, let's pull on Saturday shooters. It'd be, it'd be like that. <laughs> Just like that. Reliving college experiences over and over. So, ooh, oh, by the way, if you haven't had Fireball or other whiskey like this, this is a cinnamon whiskey. So you're going to get that Fireball cinnamon action going on, which is nice. On top of which, a nice oaky bourbon. Can life get any better? Seriously, right now? Could go to Disney. Good. So that's not till next week. So for those that haven't been keeping up, this will be the last episode for a week. That's five days, including next Sunday, so there'll be no shows. Whether I do any type of flip, flip cam videos in the meantime, I don't know. I'm not planning anything. But How are you going to release Sunday? We're not going to be here, huh? No. Sunday night shoes might come out early. <laughs> Like Saturday. No, I could do a timed one as long as I make it timed enough. Even if I do it on Saturday, just so iTunes doesn't have two videos the same day because then it, you might not pull mm. them both down. Because people are like, so you need more viewers. We do. But we get a lot of viewers across different p platforms, not just YouTube. I can smell the cinnamon from here. Does that come from here? Yeah. Definitely the cinnamon is much more tame on the aroma from here as opposed to this crazy glass over here. Oh, nice color. I like it. I mean, it's it's not... Really? Nice color? It kind of looks like a little beer. Kind of, yeah. It's kind of gold. Yeah. It's because they shake it. Okay, so some people won't like the color. 
I think it's nice. It looks like it's, poop. It's not vibrant blue. It's not bright red. It's not pink. Thanks but for telling okay. me what it's not. <laughs> you gonna make me come over there? Well, I'd prove you have legs. <laughs> yeah, I forget about that. People don't think I have legs. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> anyway. Can we bring this on the plane? Um, no. Damn. You sure? Well, I know we can put it. We you can, can put, put it, it in the luggage, the carry on. I might need some. Not carry on the other one. I might need something. I don't know. Ooh, that's. Because we did from Louisiana. <laughs> oh, but TSA true. went through. TSA it. went through all of our stuff. But that was coming back from a cocktail conference. You're gonna have stuff. <laughs> TSA, like, what the hell? <laughs> um. It's hot, cinnamon hot, but not that bad. Sweet and oak. Oaky, hot sweetness. <laughs> hot sweetness. I like oaky, hot sweetness because, like me some oak. This is a different oak, though, than, say, um, Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker's got, it's almost like a, it just seems more like a, uh, maybe a, a, a darker oak. This is more like a light oak feeling to it. I don't know why. But like a sweet light oak. So I, I think this does a little bit better than bringing in like a like a, a scotch, for instance. So a blended scotch. But at the end of the day, you're bringing cinnamon in here. That kind of gets distracting. You really have to work. You might need three of these shots in <laughs> order to bring out some of the different flavors that you're going to get from here. Uh, for this, I'm really going to have to drink it straight on the eye, uh, on the rocks straight and on the rocks to figure out what properties it has that I like because there's a little distraction here, but I like oak. It's gut oak, so I'm happy with that. I'm not afraid to say that I don't mind spending $24 on a really nice um, oak experience because it's 24 bucks. That's not that much. It's not like 70 bucks for those that have to deal with that price. I feel sorry for you, but I can't help you. <laughs> um, I like it, but you gotta like bourbon and you've gotta like cinnamon. Otherwise, you're not gonna like this shot. That's the Hellfire Shooter. Thank you, Julio. I'm going to say Julio. It could be Julio, but I think no one is Julio. It. So, Julio, good deal. Question of the day. <laughs> what are you going to do for the next five to seven days without any cocktail shows? Competitors? Go back and make old ones. Watch our back catalog. Make your favorite shot. Drink your sorrows away. <laughs> or just, just shut off the internet. What are you going to do? I think they'll survive. I hope they'll survive. And guys, come back a week from now. We're not done. We got more stuff to show. And that's it. EverydayDrinkers.com. We're teaching you how to drink.